the expectation doesn't go down. And so we got to make sure to be on our P's and Q's. And me understanding uh, Roger's strengths and weaknesses in certain plays and him understanding mine, uh, we've done a good job of that this year. And when he's not in, uh, whoever is my left guard, uh, just making sure that, you know, I'm talking to him before every play. If, if it is a play where we do huddle, saying, hey, watch out for this, this type of look, uh, you know, their games look like X, Y, and Z. It's constant communication to make sure we stay on top of it. So it is, it's always a challenge. Uh, it does make it a little more difficult when guys are in and out, but, you know, that's that's this game. The injury rate's 100%, and so you have to be able to work on those things and work through the details of uh, other guys being in there. When you have the same five guys that were supposed to be the starters at the start of the year out there, does it give you a sense of that you're that you're able to build that continuity a little easier because those are the guys you played with their camp? Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a tough question because it feels like uh, you know we haven't had all five guys for most of the year, and so building continuity and stuff like uh, Aaron Brewer and I played played with each other in the Jets game, Corey and I played with each other in the uh, first Jacksonville game. Um, and I have a lot of faith in uh, I'm very comfortable with both of them. They I think they've done a really good job. So. Um, you know, having all five in there, there's a reason why all five are starters for whatever reason. But if somebody goes down, the expectation doesn't drop at all. Those guys have to step up. Yeah. With this being one of the louder environments you be in, how does that affect you guys as far as the snap counts and things like that? You know, silent counts, getting off the ball. So. Yeah, it's, it's the same as if you go into Arrowhead or, or Seattle or anything like that. It's you're gonna have a silent cadence. You guys have to be, we have to be tuned in yeah. to Ben and um, you know how we do our sighting cadence. The guards have to be tuned into that as well. So. Uh, it's difficult. They, I mean, they've had a, uh, a flourishing franchise for many, many years, and, and they deserve the fan base that they have. They have a great fan base, and I'm uh, looking forward to a little bit of an opportunity there. So sort of. Harbing is always rising in COVID. We've seen just this week, yeah. Taylor. And, and, you know, is there much talk of booster shots uh, for you guys? That's something that's, that's come up pretty regularly. I, 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 that is not my focus at all. And, uh, you know, it's not a... Uh, yeah, it's not my focus at all right now. Focus is playing football, and um, that's really it. Do you enjoy the challenge of going up against a, a tough physical defense like Pittsburgh? Yeah, you don't play this game and go against soft dudes. I mean, these guys are, are, are studs, you know. Uh, TJ is, you know, on the verge of breaking records. I think he's already got the single, uh, single season sack record for the Steelers. Cameron Hayward's a load. He's always been a load. He was that way in college when he was a senior and I was a freshman. He definitely had his way with me a little bit there. And, uh, I mean, they have guys all across the board. Um, number 56, a guy who's in his second year. He's got juice, man. The guy can come off the ball. He's got a nice little spin move. He gets his hands inside in the power. So we have we got our hand full. Taco Charlton, he's an ex-teammate uh, of mine at Michigan. They, they've got a lot of studs up there, and it's, a, it's always a huge opportunity for us to go out there and play our game. So 